Hey guys, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Question number 11, okay, questions. Question number 11, uh, uh, chapter 23, electric potential. Let me read out the question. Figure shows a thin uniformly charged rod. Here it is. Uniformly charged rod <coughs> and three points at the same distance D from the rod. Rank the magnitude of the electric potential uh, the rod produces at those three points greatest first. So we have a uniformly charged rod. Okay, uniformly charged rod. And three points are highlighted. One point is point A here at the distance D. The other point is B here at the same distance D. The other point is C here at the same distance D. Okay, distance D from the rod, distance D from the rod, distance D from the rod. We have to rank these three points according to the electric potential rod produces at them. The greatest first, okay, in the decreasing order. Now again, as we discussed in uh, previous session, that electric potential is a scalar quantity. Okay, electric potential is a scalar quantity. So you simply add potentials due to individual ele elements. Okay, algebraic addition. Whether you consider A, point A, point B or point C charge, total charge of the rod is same. It doesn't change. Okay, and remember potential due to a single point charge is gamma Q divided by R. Total charge Q is same in all the three cases because we are dealing with the same rod. So what we'll do is we'll find out average distance. Average distance. We don't have to exactly calculate the electric potential at these three points. We have to just rank the points according to the electric uh, potential. So we'll take average of the distance. Greater the average distance of the point from the rod. Average of what? Average of distance of the point from different elements of the rod. Okay. This element is at some distance. This element is at this distance, this element is at this distance, this element is at this distance, this element is at this distance. So different elements are at different distances. We'll take average of them. Okay, we'll take we'll consider average of them. So uh, greater the average distance, lesser will be the potential. Okay, lesser will be the potential. This is V. Lesser will be the potential and smaller the average distance, greater will be the potential. Simple. Okay, simple. We're doing the qualitative analysis. We are not doing the quantitative analysis here. So if I consider the three cases again. First, let's consider it for point A. Point A, I'll consider distance of point A from different elements. This extreme element, this is the distance. This middle element, this is the distance. This extreme element, this is the distance. Okay, all the distances are lying in between these two, this one and this one. So you can imagine kind of the average thing. Then if we consider point B here, this element is at this distance, this element is at this distance, and the other element is at this distance. You can clearly see the elements on, on, on this half of the rod are at greater distances from the previous case. So average distance in this case will be greater than this one. Okay, average distance in this case will be greater than distance. So I'll write that here. Uh, R average in case of B, point B is greater than R average in case of A. In case of A. Then in case of C, again in case of C, this is the one. Let's use a different one. This element, the closest one, is at this distance D. Then this element is at this distance. Then this element is at this distance. Look at the greater, smallest distance is same in the three case, cases. Smallest distance D, smallest distance D, smallest distance D. The largest distance, this is the largest distance, which is uh, least in the three cases. This is the largest distance here, greater than that one. This is the largest distance here, which is even greater than this one. See, largest distance here is this one, largest distance here is this one. So clearly it is greater here. So average distance in case of C is greater. So let me write that here. Average distance R average in case of C is greatest. Greater the average distance, smaller is the electric potential. So greatest average distance is in case of C. So potential will be least in case of C. Uh, average distance is smallest in case of A. So potential will be greatest in case of A. So VA will be greater than VB will be greater than VC. 
just the qualitative analysis we don't have to find out the exact value of potential at a potential at b potential at c so just the qualitative analysis gives us that potential at a is greatest and potential at c is least fine that'll do for this session